always fun when we can add to the Royals Hall of Famers out here. Well, it's one Royals Hall of Famer every day, certainly not me. Now we've got two of them, former teammates, Kevin Apier, Jeff Montgomery. Uh, Kevin, it's always good when we get a chance to see you at the ballpark, and we get to see a lot of, of mini-me versions of you tonight, too. What do you think of the bobblehead? Uh, people said it's a lot better looking than me. So uh, <laughs> I, I was actually... Uh, uh, extremely impressive. It's, it's like high quality stuff. You know, I thought when you're handing that many out that you'd have to make it pretty inexpensively, but it feels like, uh, you know, a substantial thing. Think about those times and some special maybe memories you have of coming into the organization and making your debut as a Royal. Well, I mean, all the way back to being drafted in the first round. I wasn't even drafted out of high school and come out of a junior college kind of just uh, out of nowhere and, and uh, came up fairly quickly and and uh, it wasn't real fun at the very start but uh, you know by uh, 1990 you know I uh, was pretty much a regular here and, and felt comfortable and you guys helped me fit in uh, you know feel comfortable right away uh, you and Gooby and even like Bannister and to really date myself <laughs> but, uh, um, you know and I felt I was a contributor to the team um, you know, fairly quickly, and, and uh, uh, yeah, a lot of fun times here. Uh, two quick things, because uh, we got to get going, and I want to ask about the food drive in a minute. But the nicknames were always a lot of fun too. I, you got a name for everybody, it seemed like. Well, I think Abe and I both learned a lot from Mark Gubas on the nicknames. And now that you have a bobblehead, uh, we had a lot of nicknames from you. But I'm going to go with Bobblehead Bob. Do you like that one, right? I, I think that's fine. I, of course, most people probably don't know my first name's Robert. So that didn't take long for everybody to call him. Bob or Gooby would call me Rickovin. So I'd sign my name, R. Kevin. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, nicknames get boring after a while, so you have to come up with new ones. And even for a while, I start calling people by their just straight normal name, and it almost has a nickname. Because so. yeah, those aren't normal. Okay, uh, real quick, had a chance to go over with you yesterday to Harvesters. Uh, people can, can get online. They can still contribute. There we are, the, the good-looking guy and, and me bagging things yeah. up. I don't know if we were a good team or not, but this was really rewarding. Tell us about this cause. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, we were packing up uh, weekend supplement bags for uh, for kids to take home, and uh, they were doing 20,000, I think, yesterday. Uh, they do it almost all the time, right? Yeah. Almost every week. And, um, you know, it was a pleasure to see you know, their operation. And I've done some work for harvesters in the past, but I've never been to their locale. And, First thing was just how big it was. It's like this is amazing. Yeah. They're like, well, this is just one of many. So, I really appreciate their work. Well, we appreciate what you've done. The bobblehead looks great. Uh, he is Jack, or the slithering one. <laughs> he was any version of Bob, or I just learned tonight, Rickovin, Rick. or what was it? Bobblehead Bob. Bob. Bobblehead Bob. Bulldozer Bob. Yeah. I mean, we got a lot of them. Kevin, good to have you back here in town. Uh, thank you. See you guys. Uh,